Okay, then, uh, Open Day, tell us about that, please. Yeah, well, it's, it's something we've, they've done at previous football clubs that have been in. It's, I think sometimes the supporters don't get to know players enough, really. They'll see them on a match day and maybe get a quick autograph and they'll see them warming up and stuff like that. But And then, obviously, players are under pressure, under stress, and they never quite see the real person, I don't think, at times. So... Um, the day after Grimsley, which is going to be Sunday, which is going to be the 22nd of, uh, of July, is going to be an open day. So, cost will be free. People can come in for free and we'll have stalls and bouncy castles and ice cream vans and all that kind of stuff in the car park. Um, and then we're going to do the photo call on that day. So, um, Dream Sport is our new um, supplier of the, the kit, which is Under Armour as well. So, um, that'll be the first. Um, we'll do so. We'll do the photo call on that day. And um, the, the Supporters who have probably never seen how it happens um, we can come down and watch how the I think it must have been day before and see how the photo calls come across and team photo individuals. Um, so we'll do that and um, and then the the manager will do a, a training session on the pitch, which obviously people don't see all the time. And then uh, we'll let them have a quick shower and then uh, we'll get them lined all up in the stand and players can come. Uh, sorry, supporters can come across and have a chat with them and get an autograph and the selfie or or whatever they need to do, sign the, the shirt or something like that. So. And plus you can get close and personal to them and maybe have a chat with them, which they're not quite used to. I don't think sometimes they're distant and, as I say, on, on match days they're under pressure uh, to concentrate on the game and perhaps they don't get the full picture of what it is. So it'd be nice for them to come down and uh, watch the training, watch the photo call, have a, have a selfie, a look in the wall and sweep and can have a beer. Um, in 1922 and they can have a cup of tea if that's what they want. And uh, and just make it a, you know an open day and be a little bit more open and, and transparent and um, accessible, probably the better word for, for the public. So um, we're looking forward to that. You've also done a bit of work on the training ground. Yeah, we've just, just been saying that uh, Richard, Richard and the Vice Presidents have uh, put some money towards it um, to help us get the, the surface better because it was ever so wet last year. And um, we've got a £1,000 uh, legacy left us from Joe and, uh, John Berridge. To um, to revamp and, and put our dugouts out in place, ready for the youth team uh, games that they have to play there. So um, we're grateful for that, and obviously the legacy will be across the top of the top of the dugout um, for everybody to see. So um, yeah, we've done quite a bit down there. Um, the pitch here is fantastic. Gary and um, Kevin and, uh, and Malcolm have done brilliant that pitch. To say it's it's used basically every week, really. Um, it doesn't get a rest to to sort of rejig it. Um, it's had a bit of work done in this three week gap that we've had because the rugby's not playing so they, they spent some money on there to get that back up and it's, it looks brilliant now the so obviously they'll be ready for pre-season as well. Excellent.